Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome inside a car that I've been really, really excited to film. This is the 2020 BMW 3 Series, and I've had a 3 Series now for the better part of two years, probably I've done about 30, 40,000 miles in a G20. Um, this is my third G20. I've had an F30 before that, I've had an E46. But I'm giving this car back soon, so I, I decided to make this video because um, I've had a bit of a love affair with my 3 Series and I'm going to really miss it. But hey, I'm getting a new winter daily very soon, uh, which I'll be really excited to shoot some content with as well. Um, but in the meantime, I just had to show you my 3 Series because this car is just so beautiful. It's so good on so many levels. Um, I still think that this is one of the best looking saloons out there at the minute but where this car really shines is truly the driving experience and what it can offer you in terms of a chassis and performance now as i mentioned to you i've had a couple of bmw 3 series this one has so far by far been my favorite obviously with the g20 the car improved significantly the chassis is much better the car is lighter it's about 50 kilograms lighter on average across all the models um obviously sometimes less sometimes a bit more um, but it's a fantastic car the powertrain is just so good the power delivery is smooth now my car in particular is a 320d it's not an m340i it's not an m340d although i've been quite fortunate to have driven both of those other variants as well my personal favorite would probably be the m340i in terms of the driving dynamics the feel of the car the chassis and just how the car drives overall but having said that this 320d as well is such a fantastic car it drives so well the 190 horsepower make it not feel underpowered at all you know the car is actually so quick it is really quick for what it is um, it's smooth the chassis is phenomenal um, the damping settings are really good um, we've got the adaptive suspension in this car so this car in particular is the M Sport Pro Edition. Now that's something that's only available in the UK, packaged as it is. In other markets, in other countries, of course, you can have the same spec car, but the options won't be packaged in the same way. So you need to manually spec up um, the car in exactly the same way to make it what you'd get as an M Sport Pro Edition in the UK. So with the Edition model, you get the driving great paintwork which i think is absolutely fantastic especially if you live in the uk i think the overcast and cloudy weather makes the gray really stand out it looks really sleek very smooth um, you get the black wheels you get a fantastic um, individual trim which interior trim which i think is really cool is this fabric high gloss sort of mesh effect individual trim trim which is which is really cool on top of that, you also get the contents of what we have in the UK as the M Sport Pro package. So that means you get the some protection glass, you get the bigger wheels. In this case, case you get the fully blacked out 19 inch um, alloys. You get adaptive M suspension. You get the little lip spoiler in the rear. Oh no, you get some things that will either make the car look awesome or they'll make it drive awesome. But the spec of this car in particular um, is just incredible. It's got all the five packs that you, have, that you can have in the UK. So it's got the visibility package, which gives you the laser lights. The tech pack gives you the Harman Kardon sound system, which I think is an absolute must. You also get a head-up display, enhanced Bluetooth. Overall, the G23 series packs a really strong punch when it comes down to tech. The features ranging from the standard parking and reversing assistance to it being the only car in the class to offer the incredible laser lights with up to 500 meters of illumination make this a personal favorite of mine. One option I also love is the Driving Assistant Professional which allows for up to level 3 semi-autonomous driving capabilities meaning it's well future proofed. This is so handy and useful especially in busy traffic situations or on longer motorway trips. And for me in particular, it was so convenient and useful when I drove the car back to Bulgaria in the summer because it really took the strain out of a 2000 mile trip. Other than the tech and the driving experience, the 3 Series has one additional strength up its sleeve and that's the fuel economy. 
With the mild hybrid 48 volt systems now integrated into pretty much every engine variant, the 3 series is not only one of the most fun cars to drive, it's also phenomenally frugal. Over the 10,000 miles I've driven this particular 320D, it delivered an astonishing 5.6 litres per 100 kilometres, which includes all sorts of driving, including normal motorway runs, daily UK traffic, which most of you know is quite heavy, and a few good autobound blasts in Germany. All in all, you can't really expect better fuel economy than that from a car which also delivers such stellar performance. In the Netherlands, for example, where the speed limit was 100 km an hour on the motorway, the car actually averaged 4.4 litres per 100 km, which I thought was quite astonishing. I guess where that leaves us is with one more question to figure out the answer to, and that's if you've had the previous generation F33 series before, or if you have one now, is it worth upgrading to a G20? Will you find the difference in comfort, refinement and performance sufficient, or is there still more to ask for? Now in the UK, all the three series are really well specced. Um, every car has acoustic glazing as standard, which makes the cabin a really nice place to be. And that's really one of the big improvements compared to the F30. I had an F30 for about seven or eight months as well. I did about eight, 9,000 miles in that car as well. I drove it across Europe as well. Um, but I have to say the G23 series is just on another level. I love my F30, the looks of it, the design, the way it drove, it was a stunning car. But there's just something about this 3 Series which makes you feel like you're in something that's one step above that F30. So the improvement really is there from a previous to next generation. Obviously in terms of design, everyone has their own taste, everyone has their own preferences. But I truly believe that this 3 Series is one of the best looking cars out there, if not the best looking car out there. If you put all the M Forms accessories on it, I really think it's one fantastic looking car. It's sporty, it's refined, it looks great, and I'll definitely be buying one. Pound for pound, this 3 Series is truly one remarkable car. The perfectly balanced chassis combined with a wide range of engines you could choose, the funky tech, it all makes this one of the best cars your money can buy today. In a world where almost everything can be good enough and on paper may look like a valent competitor to this G23 series, the question is do you actually need the best car in the segment? And my answer to that is absolutely yes. With this car starting at just over £30,000 in the UK, which is incredible value for money, this car does everything so well. I find it truly remarkable that you can fully load up a 2 litre diesel, put 3 big heavy blokes in it, lots of luggage in it and still cruise on the autobahn at above 200 km an hour for very long periods of time while still achieving 6 to 7 litres per 100 km. The mild hybrid 48 volt system makes the car feel very light on its feet and it almost feels like a plug-in hybrid at times because the engine will turn off for you on the motorway even at high speeds to preserve energy and fuel. In the time that I've driven this 3 Series, I've truly fallen in love with it. I'm going to miss it so, so much. And I'm sure that you would find yourself in the same position if you do get a G20 or if you already have one and you need to say goodbye to it eventually. This truly is what you call progress. And this car is 100% a worthy upgrade to the F30.